going on guys? If you're stuck right now and you're getting less than 1,000 views on everything that you post on YouTube Shorts, I bet it's because you're not implementing these three hacks that most successful Shorts channels are abusing right now. Once you implement these three hacks, you're going to see your Shorts views start skyrocketing and I can almost guarantee you that your channel is going to grow so fast. Shorts are an amazing way to grow your audience right now and you need to be taking advantage of this while you still can. So without further ado, let's dive in. Now hack number one is you need to tap into an existing audience. And what I mean by this is go on a podcast with famous people, collaborate with larger creators. Now you're probably sitting there saying, Hammer, I don't know anyone famous. This advice is absolutely trash. Now that's okay. You don't need to know anyone famous. What I mean by this is that you need to create content that leverages these authorities. Make your content about these famous people or famous businesses or famous entities or even just things happening in current events. For example, if you're a crypto channel, crypto has been skyrocketing lately and Balaji is saying that he thinks it's going to go to a million. There's an endless amount of things going on. So you need to take those and leverage those authority figures, whether it's a person or an entity, talk about it and use it for your content. Because when you create content about those authorities, you're now tapping into their audience as well. Well, here's how to determine whether something is a good authority to talk about or a bad one. Not all authorities are good to talk about, and you're going to need to figure out one of these two things. One, what people are searching for within your niche. You could do your own research or just watch other creators on YouTube. Or two, who people look up to in your niche and what are they talking about? If you can capitalize on those two things, your growth is going to be propelled because you're attaching your content to that entity. This same logic has been used since well before the days of YouTube. Why do people like Jordans so much? People like Jordans because they were attached to Michael Jordan. And that's just one little example. Throughout history, this marketing tactic has been used time and time again and has proven that it works almost every single time. And that's basically what you need to be doing on YouTube. Market your content in whatever way that will attract those audiences and viewers that you ultimately want to reach. Now, before we dive into hack number two, I need you guys to hit that subscribe button and like the video, share it with your friends, anyone who's trying to grow on YouTube right now. I'm posting tons of content on how to grow on YouTube, how to grow on Twitch, how to set up your streams if you're doing live streams, all that stuff. So share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. But anyways, Let's dive into hack number two. Hack number two is you need to get straight into the video. And what I mean by this is that shorter videos work better here. There's data that's been showing that 14 to 27 second long content is what the sweet spot is right now. Sometimes 40 to 60 second long videos work, but to be honest, the shorter the better. People want straight to the point content at this stage in the game. So stop introducing yourself in your shorts. That's okay to do in long form content sometimes, but even then it's a little bit tricky. You want to get straight into the point. With YouTube shorts, you want to be delivering information or entertainment the second that your viewer starts watching your video. And your delivery is going to come in one of two forms. One, it's going to come as a voiceover or text on the screen that's acting as a hook. Or two, it's going to come from your title or your camera angle. Now you need to make sure that you're implementing those two things and getting straight to the point, giving them something of value right away. So you can think about it like this. If there's a ton of random people out there and you have no idea who any of them are, the only reasons you would care to listen to them are one, if they gave you a reason to listen by getting straight to the point or two, by talking about something that you're interested in or that you know about. And that is what hack number one and hack number two are able to accomplish, especially when used together. But there's one last thing that you need to make sure that you're doing. And every successful YouTube shorts channel is doing this right now. Here's what it is. So hack number three is to find what format works for you and keep doing it over and over and over again. You need to figure out what format actually works for your content. So if you take Mr. Beast for an example, go back and watch all of his old videos and you'll get to a point where you see the transition. You'll see where he realized the format of videos that was working for him and he doubled down on it, tripled down on it and just kept pumping out content with that exact same format. And this works with any successful channel. It doesn't have to be Mr. Beast. You can go back and watch all of their old content before they blew up, before they got famous, before they became super successful on YouTube. You'll see the switch. You'll see where their videos changed and then where they took that change and then used it going forward and never changed their style again. This is going to allow you to do two more things. One, it's going to allow you to create tons of content because you already have the format down. Now, 
all you need to do is keep changing the topic and you can pump content out left and right. And the second thing is it's going to take the guesswork out of creating content. Now, everyone knows that bad feeling about wondering if the piece of content that you just worked so hard on that you're about to post is gonna do good. You sit there and you're wondering, oh man, I hope this is gonna do good. Is it gonna do good? Am I gonna get views? Is it gonna just be stuck at 10 views for three weeks straight? Now, wouldn't it feel better if you knew the content that you were about to post was going to do well because of all the trial and error that you already did implementing different formats until you found one that worked. Once you find that format that's working, you absolutely need to double down on it or even triple down on it. Pump out as many pieces of content as you can using that exact same format every single time. And if you do this, I can almost guarantee you that each piece of follow-up content will be successful, but this takes some time. So make sure you're posting a ton of content in the beginning, trying different formats. And once you see that one piece of content that you post that starts to perform really well, that's the format that you're going to double down on. Take that as a sign that that is what your audience wants to see. That's what's working for you. That's what YouTube is pushing for your channel. Double down on it, triple down on it. Just create tons of content around either that topic and using that same format. All of those things make such a big difference and people don't realize this. But anyways, guys, that's all I've got for you today. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Turn on post notifications so you don't miss the next time I post a video. And if you want to hang out with me live, I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash hammerdance. I'll drop a link to that in the description below this video. I'm live Monday through Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern time. But anyways, guys, that's all from me. I want you to keep those hammers up and I'll see you next time.